everyone. I am Teacher Ivy and I'm here to give you some tips on how to have an, e an effective presentation. So knowing how to make a proper presentation is a skill every professional should know. It is essential for them to be able to disseminate information properly so that mis miscommunication can be avoided. So here are some tips you can use on how to create impact or maximum impact through your presentation. So number one, consider your audience. Before facing your audience in the auditorium, get some background information about them first. So know their age group, gender, profession, preference, etc. And create your presentation accordingly. You should be sensitive to their background. It is also useful to ask them about their expectations and meet those expectations with relevant contents in your presentation. Number two, dress to impress. Your attire should match the occasion. If you're presenting to a crowd wearing suits, you should suit up as well. If they are wearing casual clothes, dress casually too. Your attire must be on the same level or a notch higher than them. Number three, use visuals effectively. Use clear and simple vis visual aids. Make sure that your visual aids look professional, meaning do not put too much animation or information in your PowerPoint uh, slides. So, because looking at them, just looking at them, will definitely bore your audience. Be prepared to provide handouts. The things that you cannot put in your PowerPoint presentation, just put the details on your handouts. Okay, number four, communicate using body language. So first thing to remember is to maintain a good posture. Don't look too stiff or too sloppy. Remain confident and positive. Use eye contact to engage the audience and use gestures only to add meaning to your speech. Avoid distracting mannerisms and speech, speech tics such as repetitive words like um, like, so, and you know. Number five, deliver your message. So do it clearly and effectively. Use the proper volume, rhythm, and pause. Adjust the complexity and formality of your language to the audience. And last but not the least, pre prepare thoroughly. So practice, practice, practice. This is the key to success. It will help greatly if you practice in front of the mirror or with a friend. Write brief notes to assist you in remembering the important details and the general flow of the presentation. So remember that the most important thing is to be thoroughly prepared. If you're prepared, then nothing can take you by surprise. I hope this column will help you in preparing for your presentation. Thank you very much. Good day.